Hey guys, before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to my friends at Large Car Truck Spa. They are a full service truck wash. They're based in Winkler, Manitoba. That's in the south central part of the province. It's not just a truck wash, it's a truck spa. So go check out their website. I'll leave the link to their page down below in the description underneath my video. And if you do end up going there to get your truck cleaned up, use code TRUCKERJOSH for 5% discount. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Shout out to Austin. Where are you? There's your, there he is over there. I'm here at Staymart in uh, Fargo, North Dakota. He swung by here uh, and said hi to me real quick. Appreciate that made my day first thing in the morning. <laughs> Love meeting you guys. You guys get to see me every day. You know all about me. I don't know about you. So when I actually get to meet you in person, it's exciting for me. It's like I'm meeting someone like famous. <laughs> I get to meet you guys. You guys are in my comment section all the time. Uh, it's exciting for me. So if you do see me, please uh, don't be shy. Just come over, shake my hand, say hi. I'd, I'd love to meet you. So we're gonna head home now. A couple hours back to the yard, drop this trailer off in a nice, in our nice safe locked up yard, and I'm going home for the night. I'll be home for about 24 hours. So and then I gotta continue to Saskatchewan. Let's go. North US 81 North. What do you got on you there? What are those little specks? Oh, 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 oh. are those bugs? The bugs are back. Oh no. See, you can't win. You just can't win. Either you're dealing with sloppy conditions all winter time and your truck's always dirty, or you're dealing with bugs and your truck's always dirty. <laughs> But hey, another shout out to our friends at Large Car Truck Spa in Winkler. I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Seriously, go down below to the description down below and go check them out. They do some really good work. Not just a truck wash, it's a truck spa. It's actually pretty cool. I want to bring Old Blue there yet. And you can get a discount, 5% discount, if you use Trucker Josh as a, as a discount code. Thought that was pretty cool. They would make you shine better than any blue beacon. Blue. Do you believe that? I believe it. Okay, it's time for me to go home. We're only going home for the night. I gotta leave tomorrow evening again. So I'm filming this on a Saturday. And uh, I gotta leave tomorrow night. I gotta deliver that load, which I left in our yard, uh, in the fenced yard. We're gonna deliver Monday morning and then come straight back empty. And then I'm home for a while. So Monday night I'll be back. And then we have mats that's coming up. I'm flying out for one day. I'll be there on Thursday. I'm meeting some friends there, and it's still a bit of a surprise of what's all going on. I wanna hype you guys up a little bit, but I can't tell you everything that's going on right now. My schedule's fully booked on Thursday, so I don't know exactly when to tell you where I'll be and when, or if I'll have time to come and hang out or what's going on. But if you're going to be at Matt, at Matt's on Thursday, let me know. Actually, it'll all make sense as time goes on. Besides, by the time you're watching this, Actually, Matt's is on when you're watching this because this gets released the next Saturday, but I'm already back at home. So if you were at Matt's, let me know down below in the comment section. Were you there? Did you see me? Did you get to come say hi to me? So a bit of a funny story before we go, I wanted to tell you. So this morning when I was in Fargo doing my pre-trip, obviously I have to open my hood, check everything under the hood, check the oil and everything. And uh, the wind was coming from in front of the truck, going over the truck, right? so I kept wanting to blow the hood back over. 
So uh, I struggled with it for a little bit, and then I figured, oh, you know what, I'm going to turn the truck around. So I just started up. At least I could check the oil, because I don't like turning over the engine until I check the oil. Because once you check the oil, it's all through the engine. It's not going to give you an accurate reading, right? Unless you let it sit for at least like 10 minutes if the oil's warm. But if it's cold like that, you start it up, you turn it off. Well, now it's not going to give you an accurate reading at all because it's going to be, it's going to take forever for it to go back down to the oil pan or, right? Anyway, so I figured, you know what? I checked the oil. Oil was fine. So let's turn this thing around so this hood stopped like, trying to close on me. So while I was coming around here to put it down, it started to fall down again, right? I was standing on this side of the truck here. And I grabbed this light to stop it. That light's not designed for that. Just broke it right off. Can you tell? I fixed it. <laughs> a bit of Gorilla Glue actually uh, worked great on that. So in here, there's two bolts that are stuck in there and actually pulled those bolts out. That's what those screws screw into and that's what holds it down, right? Those screws stayed on the screw but broke out of this housing. So I took the screws off of the bolt, fit the bolts back into the the housing where they're supposed to be and then I glued them in there with Gorilla Glue. I put Gorilla Glue in there first and I stuck them in there. It works. Does that make sense? It's hard to explain it to you if you don't know, if you never installed these before, but anyway, Gorilla Glue saved the day. My visor's still doing good. A few thousand miles now and that thing hasn't come off again. I have to glue it to my windshield up there with Gorilla Glue. That's the only way to secure it on there. And every few months or so, the, the glue comes loose, and I gotta shave it off and clean it up and redo it. It's, it's a bit of a nuisance. I might be replacing it. Maybe when I do the frame, I might replace that too, because this visor, as much as I love it, I love it because it's got like my logo etched in here. It's got the bull snot logo etched in over there, right? On that side, you can't really see it from here. But the visor, it's, uh, I have to mount it up like this the way it is now because I ordered it too low. If I put it down any lower, uh, I attract the wrong kind of attention and I can't see where I'm going either. And uh, the way it's mounted to the windshield there, I just don't understand that. I have to constantly keep fixing it. It's been, it's been a bit of a pain, so we'll see. Might be replacing that. But anyways, Gorilla Glue holds that up there and Gorilla Glue holds this here. It's not just glue, like don't get me wrong, the whole thing's not held on by glue. It's mounted with bolts onto the side of the truck. It's just that center piece that rests against the windshield because I have a one piece windshield, right? There's a one piece windshield and there's no bar in there. It's like I said, I know while you were like scratching your head like, what, how is that working? Exactly, yeah, it's a little bit of a pain. You can see it in there. But that's okay. I like it though. It looks better than the factory one anyways. And it has the custom logos. So I really do like it. I just ordered it a little bit too big. It's it's too big. But that's okay. We'll figure that out. Anyway, I want to tell you the story about this light. I glued it back on, put it back on here, and good as new. <laughs> Gorilla glue saved the day again. <laughs> so, a little story. A little story for you. Thanks everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be heading from here to Langbank, Saskatchewan, a boat five, six hours west in Saskatchewan from here. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. If you like my videos, that helps a lot. Helps even more if you leave a comment down below. If you want to become a member of the channel, you click the join now button below my video. You get early access to my videos. Then when they go live, I'm a little bit behind now, so I have to catch up. But when I am caught up, you have access to everything right away is my whole library. Uh, and then I release them publicly one day at a time. Uh, you can learn more about that if you click that button though. If not, if you don't want to do that, uh, just by subscribing to my channel and leaving a comment. That's great. Thank you so much. And I'll see you tomorrow.